I don't work for any builder. All I do is I work for you as a buyer and also I don't represent any builder or anyone. I also represent you, the buyer, and also your best interest. Not my interest, neither the interest of the builder. What is going on family? This is RJ Bautista, your local Central Florida Realtor with EXP Realty. Today, I will give you some important notes, especially if you are planning to buy a property, not just buying a property. When you are signing a contract, either you want to buy a new construction or use home or they call it resale home. All right. This is very important and very huge because if you don't representing a realtor or real estate agent to represent you, you don't know what you're signing. So I would like to share this some contracts with you so you will understand what these kind of terms that you are signing or before you're signing the contract and get those going before the process of the loan or before you become a homeowner here in Central Florida not just in Central Florida for the whole Florida all right but before I start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so the most important thing you know that smash that like button for me and share this video to all your family and friends especially for those people who's planning to move here in Central Florida and also buy a property here in Central Florida. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The number one that I would like to say here is when signing a contract, okay? Make sure that you know what you're signing for. Don't just sign, 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 sign and without knowing about the contract because here in Central Florida at this current season, not current season, current market, we have a contract we call this like as is contract okay this as is contract is very important for you as a buyer or a consumer that who would like to buy a property is knowing what kind of contract you're signing because if you don't know what you're signing you might get have a problem or an issue during your loan not just about during your loan or before you closing the property so you make sure that you know what you're signing for so the as is contract it means like you are going to sign the contract whatever that you are buying for example they said as is so it means whatever is in the property that's what you are getting or what you are buying so let's say your property that you are buying for example for a new construction house or a newly built house they will say here is that what you're gonna get you're gonna get the three bedroom two bathroom or four bedroom two bathroom and all the appliances included such as let's say microwave stove or range refrigerator dishwasher and that okay sometimes when they say all all appliances included make sure that the washer and dryer are included too because some builder they don't include them they said full appliances package however they don't include the washer and dryer okay some people think when they talking about or the builder representative saying oh that's included you just sign here sign there you'll be okay and then when you didn't review your contract or you don't have any realtor to represent you to review your contract what will happen is during your process of the, the loan when if everything is good and you are going to the closing you sign the contract for closing you close the property they gave your keys and then once you get to the property to leave what will happen is you are looking for all the appliances are there apart from washer and dryer and then what would you feel right you will feel like oh they told me like washer and dryer are included however did you review your contract that the washer and dryer are included too all right this is very important that's why i tell to all my clients don't just sign the contract let me review it first when everything is good we will sign for it imagine if you don't have a realtor or real estate professional or real estate agent to represent you you don't have any idea of what contract you're signing especially about this kind of stuff because as I said I experienced this before they were telling to my client or my past client like oh you're gonna get this 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 and then when I look at the contract I said oh where is the complete package that we that you told us that we're gonna get this good job that i look at the contract and i check every single page of the contract i know it's gonna be a lot of pages probably we're looking or talking about like 50 to 60 pages and i make sure that whatever they said is gonna be there because if something's missing there what would my client feel about or you as a buyer will feel about if you don't get what they promise you to get on your property 
So make sure you review your contract. That's a number one. So number two, we're still staying in the contract. This is very huge too. What I experienced before, not for me specifically, but for my team who's doing a new construction deal as well. What happened to their contract for new construction is they have this called escalation clause, right? Escalation clause, this is the clause that some builder put in your contract. However, not every builder does this, okay? So escalation clause, what they do or what does this mean is like when the material of what they're using for the builder goes up, so the price you sign for under contract will go up too, right? So let's say you are planning to build your property from the scratch from zero month, day zero to let's say six months to 12 months, okay? So during the process of your building your property, what will happen is the builder will pay for the material for your property to build, right? So when they put in your contract, let's say this property is in terms of escalation clause and you sign it without reviewing contract that saying escalation clause, this could happen to you. So what will happen is let's say you are contracted the price of the property for 400,000. This is only for example. So you sign for the contract and you get under contract for 400,000 and then you didn't know or you didn't notice like the escalation cost was there and then from building your property from day zero to six months, the lumber went high high and also the materials like the, the cement went high the price wise and then because it's the inflation so what will happen after six months or seven or 12 months they were saying the builder were saying they are entitled to change this price from 400,000 to become 420,000 now why because they could say oh because of the material went high the labor went high they could say anything about that because it's part of escalation clause so that's why I'm saying that make sure that you if you don't have a real estate agent they need to review your contract to make sure that whatever's in there or there's no escalation clause will be in your contract because if thus an escalation clause there and then the builder decided to increase the property price you will probably pay more the end or in your closing day so that will feel so bad right and that's my number two and for last one or a bonus one for you is before signing a contract again make sure or try to negotiate negotiate the price for the property that you're trying to buy because right now in this current market we are in the slow season or low season because in real estate we have like a high season and low season right now we are the month of October and probably when I post this probably gonna be November 2023 the real estate is still in low season some builder doesn't want to get their property sold as soon as possible because once they build the property and it's nearly ready and no one buying the property what will happen is the builder will pay more on the mortgage side and then it will cost them more because property is not sold yet so they want to sell it this property to the buyer or consumer like you and if you like this property don't just dive in there okay you need to play around or hard to get if you know what I'm trying to say so what do you mean like hard to get so it means like you are saying like you are interested to this property you're interested to this builder however you are saying I am ready I am ready to you know get pre-approved with the lender of the builder however if you can give me a low price of let's say for 400,000 give me probably 10,000 lesser to this property would you take it like for $390,000 instead of 400 they might say yes they might say no or they might say I will ask something or somebody so once that happened it means like you are negotiating the price so it means like you are trying to negotiate the price not paying what is the amount what they are offering it's just because of the current market no one's buying a property right now we are in a slow market compare if you are going to buy in the summer season let's say in march april may june july august those are the summer season which is the high season in real estate and what will happen is it's hard to negotiate about asking about lower the price sometimes it works sometimes it's not but it will not harm you or the real estate agent to ask something for more and negotiate for more on your behalf
all right so remember this i don't work for any builder all i do is i work for you as a buyer and also i don't represent any builder or anyone i also represent you the buyer and also your best interest not my interest neither the interest of the builder all right so this is the video for today i hope this video is helpful and useful and if you stay in this video until this end comment down below new construction so i could see how many people who would like to buy a new construction and i will do my best to help you if you have any question all you need to do is just follow me in my social media inbox me text me call me and i will reach out to you or reach back to you as soon as possible once again thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next video i'm out for today peace What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista. Oh, it's, it's right. Let's do it again, part two.